hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just eating an amalgamation of plants and animals, and oh yeah, I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says. Well, that's a wicked cool question, so hey, try this! You'll need the internet. Hey, have you ever wondered what the things you've chowed down on chewed before you started chomping? What? Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Yeah. Well, here, check this out. I, a mammal, sink my teeth into a turkey, a bird. But have you ever wondered what turkeys like to gobble? <laughs> you know, well, before I came along and turned it into a snack. Well, I happen to know that turkeys like to pick with their peck. What? A turkey's beak is a peck. Well, well, uh, anyway, you know, they, they like to eat fruits and insects, you know, like grasshoppers. Well, guess what? That hopper had to inhale something as well. What do you think it is? It's grass, hence the name, grasshopper. G'doy! And of course we all know that plants make their food from the sun. So seeing that I sunk my teeth into that turkey, <laughs> you might think that humans are the kings of the consumption cantina. However, are humans really the masters of mastication when it comes to mandibulation? Or are there other animals that wouldn't mind taking a bite out of you and I? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Because humans have evolved intelligence, enough so to cultivate animals for their food, such as turkeys, and build fortresses that keep unwanted animals away, such as houses, we often think that humans are the top predators. However, even though mostly uncommon, there are plenty of animals that would attack and consume humans if they had the chance. We call these animals man-eaters, such as bears, which will attack and consume humans, with two lives lost every year, with most of the attacks coming from grizzly bears. Sharks also attack and eat humans, with about 10 lives lost each year, with most of their attacks coming from the great white shark. Hyenas are on the list as well, which will attack and eat humans in Africa, with 50 lives lost each year, with most of the attacks coming from the spotted hyenas. Large cats, such as lions and tigers, will attack and eat humans with 600 lives lost each year, with most attacks coming from tigers. The number one animal that puts humans on the menu are crocodiles. 1,000 lives are lost to these ancient reptiles each year, with most of the attacks coming from the saltwater crocodile. However, most animal attacks are not caused by hunger, but by humans getting too close to these animals, or their young. If you see any of these animals, it's best to avoid going anywhere near them instead of becoming part of their food chain. So now you know which animals would make a snack out of you and me. You know, biting into the food chain right at home is why science is so wicked cool.